know the reason why we chose to say goodbye, but I can help my feelings. Yo, yo, what is up, fam? Bam Milan, welcome back to the channel. So, this is a little bit of a different one. Uh, as you can see from the title, I am going to be reviewing the Aurora Hated Socks, and uh, I'm actually really excited about this. So, let's get it. So just a little bit of a disclaimer, this is an honest and personal review. Uh, Aurora sent this to me, but they aren't paying me to do this video. So all the kind of uh, opinions and actual review are my own. So uh, so I can give you guys a genuine kind of a review and uh, what I actually think about it so that you guys can get a, a better understanding of how this actual product works. So let's go ahead and open up the box. I got a size of medium, so you get the actual socks. You guys for US, UK, and uh, European shoe size. So small for the US is uh, 49, medium is 9 to 12, which is what I got, and large, which is 12 to 16. So I asked them as well because should I get to go small or should I go for, for the medium? Because I'm, I'm a size nine and a half, and they said to go to, with the nine to 12 because the four to nine might be a little bit too tight. So hopefully that goes that gives you a little bit of an indication. So let's go ahead and open this up, shall we? So, ooh, it feels nice. It really feels thick. It says Cool Max. So I read that the actual material, that Cool Max material, is sort of like moisture wicking as well. So some, like you can notice that from all the Nike, um, like T-shirts, where it draws the moisture away from you and takes it, uh, you know, draws it away from your body. And this is sort of like the same thing. Uh, it also has this kind of um, uh, material. It's not really tight, but it's tight enough so it doesn't like get all scrunchy at the bottom because I know I've got those really long socks where like the elasticity doesn't really last that long so eventually it just like goes all soggy all the way to, down to your ankle and apparently uh, these socks don't do that um, because they are pretty long if you think about it like look how long they are <laughs> like I mean this is my arm and this is a sock if that's uh, any of an indication so these definitely go up to your probably your your calves, I reckon. That's the little uh, pocket where you put the battery in. And this bit here, uh, I don't know if you guys could tell, but it's like, it's a little bit of a different material, but the actual heating pads or the heating area is around the bottom of the ball of your feet. And uh, so it's not the whole foot. I guess they only put it on a partial part of the bottom of the foot. So, but I think that's the most important part, like the bottom and uh, you know towards the toe area because that's to me that's where I get like that's where it gets the coldest all the time so uh, yeah I definitely can't wait to actually try this out you get these two batteries here over here you got a charging block I don't think I can use this one but the thing the good thing about it is it's got a USB um, like adapter so you charge it via USB uh, like for, for anything so a lot of the kind of uh, adapters and blocks now all come with the USB kind of thing. So you can charge this on your um, what do you call it on your <laughs> on your computer as well. But there's two of them, and uh, yeah, they they go into each battery, of course, like so. And then you charge it, pretty much. So when you look at it right there. When you press the button, that tells you the charge or how much uh, you know, batteries are left in it. So obviously, um, one of the main things I was really worried about is in terms of um, how do you wash it? How do you maintain this kind of thing? And so I looked it up. You're going to have to wash these because you have pretty sticky feet, especially if you leave it on <laughs> and it's really hot and you're going to, you know, uh, you know, cause a lot of moisture in your feet. But obviously don't leave these inside the socks. Obviously, if you leave the battery in there and then you put your socks into the wash, then you're going to actually damage the socks and or whatever is in the wash, you know? So be careful with that, guys. So just to let you guys know, so the way it works is um, there's a wire inside the actual pocket and that's what connects to the, the battery. So you can see that there's a, also a small uh, circle battery uh, hole and that's where you put it in. So when you put it in, uh, yeah, straight away it turns on. So I'm guessing it's heating up right now. Also, I know that these batteries, it says that it states that it lasts for around 10 hours. So that's pretty good. I mean, I don't know how long you want to keep your 
uh, feet heated for, but uh, you probably only want to heat it up enough so that you know they're warm and not frozen. You know, you just need to warm them up and so that you can get your blood going in around that area kind of thing. Also, the heating area of the uh, what do you call it of the sock in there that's got um, it's protected with I think it's silica rubber so that it prevents it from short circuiting. <laughs> it's so long. Yeah, I got pretty big calves. Right, let's have a little go. I'll put it in the little pocket if it does fit. Okay. So that's basically how it goes. I'm not really sure if I could feel anything yet, but that's where the pad is, the heating pad. And I'm guessing this is the wire that connects to the sock. It kind of feels like you have like a, uh, a Nike air unit underneath the, the, the ball of your feet. <laughs> These feel like soccer socks. <laughs> well, by the way, there's three different levels guys. So there's the hottest, the medium heat and the lowest heat. It starts off on the highest. So I'm just kind of just trying to wait for them to, to kick in. So what's up guys? What are you up to? <laughs> By the way guys, uh, I've sort of started a gaming channel as well, so if you're into that kind of stuff, so check out Kixplore Gaming. Anyway, but also another thing that you should know is that when you wash these socks, they have to be put into um, like a mesh bag, like a garment bag, so that, you know, it, it, like a, yeah, like a delicate bag, so they doesn't like kind of damage the socks and stuff, because it does have wiring in them and stuff, so you gotta look after that. Like, I mean, um, I don't know how comfortable I would be wearing this for the whole day, especially with the, I don't know, it's just like, yeah, it's just really tight around the, the, the actual calf area. But I think that's the good thing, and that's what the, the kind of thing that they were trying to promote, because um, a lot of the other socks that uh, they probably had to work with, they, they kind of, you know, they shrivel down and stuff, and they didn't want that happening, so it's a little bit tighter at the top, mainly for a good reason, so that it doesn't go all the way down, so I can respect that. So yeah, I wish there was like a panel here for heating, not just here. Because with the Aurora vest that I had before, um, that actually works, you can feel it. You can feel like it getting warmer and everything. Um, but that's because it had multiple like, like pads of where the heat was going on. This one, there's only one spot. Oh, yep, 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 there it is. Yep, okay. Ooh. Hmm, yeah, I really wish that it was a little bit higher. I really wish that it was a little bit towards the toe area. Because my, my toes are usually the coldest part of my feet. And um, yeah, I wish it was like a little bit higher. So if your foot was like this, I just really wish that, yeah, this bit was covered with heating. And it feels like it's only just up to here. That's where the heating goes. It doesn't go all the way to the tip. Okay, so to give my final verdict on these socks, I still got them on now, but uh, to kind of give you a better description, so the heating pads are only up to this part. If I can give a little bit of a kind of example. It's only this section over here that has its heating parts. To me, I really wish that they had like the whole toe area to be heated, but it isn't, uh, unfortunately, because that's to me, that's the, the coldest bit like to, you know, to uh, in the morning and when it's really cold, that's the bit I really want to warm up the, the most. But uh, other than that, it's still, yeah, it does serve its purpose. It, it, it will help eventually get your feet like really, really warm, really, really like hot. Um, especially, um, you know, if you got like, I know there are people out there that have really sweaty feet. I don't know, I don't really probably recommend this for them. Uh, just probably wear like thick socks. Yeah, because your, your feet's gonna eventually get warm anyway. So just wear thick socks. Uh, do you need them? I'll probably say, yeah, obviously you don't need them. But is there a very big convenience? Uh, yes, it is. Um, it will definitely help out. Like I suggest probably using it for like times when you go camping or when you go to travel to really cold places like hotels and all that kind of stuff. Having a, a pair of these handy would be really nice just to, you know, to just like, you know, get the chill out of your, your feet and stuff. Usually it's best in the morning. That's what I'll probably suggest. These are like really morning socks to get you going. 
Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, uh, I think that yeah, you know, they're all right. In terms of the pricing, I think they're around a hundred dollars. Yeah, they're a hundred dollars uh, Australian, I think. So they're pretty pricey. Uh, like, I mean, you can either wear this or you can wear like five pairs of socks <laughs> for like. 10 bucks or whatever and then uh you know you probably won't get as a um, oh it's 99 dollars us oh sheesh so it's even more expensive in uh in australian dollars so yeah it's a, it's a bit pricey if you have the luxury of, of paying for something like this then definitely uh go give it a go because it does it, it does i wouldn't say it's like a scam that it doesn't work but uh, it does work, so that's probably my best opinion to you guys if you really want to buy it If you're really consider uh, using something like this, uh, I would say yes if you have the money But if you don't have the money <laughs> like obviously I would rather you guys spend your money on like bills and all these other things other necessities that you have in your life But I just want to give a big shout out to Aurora uh, for helping uh, you know giving me this product to review And I hope it was able to help you guys to make a decision on uh, you know on how to keep your feet warm in the morning and about you know uh, Aurora in general about the brand uh, because I do really yeah I like Aurora the brand because they have really cool stuff because you don't see a lot of other brands out there doing that kind of stuff they seem to like the most legit one that I know uh, with comes to, when it comes to heated apparel so I really you know I, I really do like them guys so give them a go uh, if you have the money obviously because it's not for I wouldn't suggest it to all like everyone uh, but it does really help especially in the colder climate so definitely give it a shot if you have the money. Anyway guys, let me know what you guys think uh, about the actual review. If you have any more questions, please let me know. And uh, yeah, uh, you know, thank you once again for watching this video and I shall see you guys in the next one. Peace.